She's standing outside. Up on the left hand side on the skyline you see the modern homestead of the Graham family who run near Darker Sheep Station. The Grahams are the owners of the land in which the station of Herndon is situated. And by now ahead to the left we can see the Christmas Creek Bridge. The gold was discovered here on Christmas Day 1863 by a Scottish prospector who was fossicking in the stream bed. And even though the railway line and the track formation was built by the mostly the unemployed who turned to the railways for work during the economic depression of the 1880s. This bridge, like the others, was in fact built by bridge building specialists and stonemasons, and they quarried the stone from nearby, shifted the huge blocks some weighing two tons, and placed them by block and tackle. And even though the Tari River sometimes runs dirty or stained by tannin, Christmas Creek is normally clear. We sometimes see trout here when the waters meet. This stretch of river is good fishing. station. As we travel around this quite sharp curve to the right, we look across, we can see that red painted bridge. That bridge crosses Pay Office Creek. Apparently construction workers are paid there. Next bridge a little further on crosses Machine Creek, named after a grain crushing machine up on the flat, which is powered by a water wheel. So we have Pay Office Creek, Machine Creek, we pass through Machine Creek Tunnel, we see at the far end, the Deep Stream.
Deep Stream. Now Deep Stream will be a stop in the gorge uh, this morning. Now we're going to be doing something a little different. It's uh, a mild day outside, the sun is shining. So we're going to go for a walk. And we'll walk over the Deep Stream. So when we uh, arrive there, would you please wait till the train stops completely. We'll disembark on the right hand side in the direction of travel. Uh, we'll walk across the uh, Deep Stream Viaduct on the wooden walkway, which is situated on the right hand side. Once we're across the other side, and Mike will bring the train across the viaduct. Great photo opportunity. So we're going to walk over the Deep Stream Viaduct. Across the right, we can see the extreme viaduct. So Mike will stop the train just prior to the viaduct. We'll disembark on the right-hand side. We'll walk across the viaduct, assemble on the other side, get back onto the train. When the train comes across, and we'll continue on our way. So when the train does stop, please wait for the uh, disembark the train on the right-hand side in the direction of travel. Quite a step down to the ground, so the safe way to get off the train is to turn around, go down the steps backwards, holding onto the handrails with both hands, just like going down the ladder. That is, turn around, go down the steps backwards, holding onto the handrails with both hands. Now, if you feel uncomfortable about walking over the viaduct, uh, please stay on the train. Also, please do not walk on the railway track, please stay on the wooden walkway. Thank you. We're now approaching what could be called the engineering highlight of our trip, the curved flat stream viaduct and the notches. Mike will slow the train right down for this great photo opportunity. The other reason why Mike will slow the train down, he missed the viaduct twice last week, so he slowed the train down to make sure he gets it right this time. Shortly ahead to the right, we'll see the dark face of the notches, the most difficult piece of engineering at Holy Otago Central Line. But before we get there, we cross another challenging piece of work, 